full of empty streets, but there ain't nothing out there. There's nothing here for me, and there's nothing here for you. I'm gonna end up on a goal anyway, or anyway, anyway, yeah. drums here we've got everything in today it's been absolutely brilliant so what i need you to do is introduce yourselves and what exactly you do for the band so off you go oh well, okay um luke Ron. i sing and well sing try to sing and play Shout. bass <laughs> awesome stuff who else have we got here with us shane Gravestock, play drums and I'm Freddie, I'll play guitar and I'll shout in the background. And you drink. shout in the background, is that right Freddie? I want a drink apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff, so t talk to us a bit about that song, where was the inspiration behind that song and who, and who sort of, who came up with it? Working. <laughs> Work. I had a job that I really hated. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, an old, it. it's a scar song normally. Yeah, it's usually a scar song. Okay. So the like, upbeat, so we have, yeah. But, on we we can't bad. So. We can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff. Because obviously, we, well, obviously, with uh, with you, with you getting you guys on, we've actually had to tone it down a little bit today, haven't we? Yeah. From uh, yeah. from your normal set, as it were. Because um, there was one time, the uh, first time I saw you guys about two years ago in um, like a Grove Park, like sort of party in the park sort of thing. And uh, you actually nearly got the whole thing shut down, didn't you? Do you want to tell us a yeah. bit about that? <laughs> well. You know, well, uh, language so, is a bit blue, isn't it? Someone, <laughs> said, someone says you can't swear in front of kids, <laughs> and it all, it all got out of proportion, and some police officers the, complained. Some, <laughs> the police got involved. It, yeah, that, yeah, that was just a bit. Go to and talk people stuff to talk about. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But isn't, that, isn't, isn't that what punk's all about, though? It's about yeah, rebellion, yeah. isn't it? Well, I, I guess so. <laughs> if you can be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a bit about the name. Uh, where, where did White Rebellion come from? Well, I, you. I got the name. It originally means um, the right of like a revolution. It came from, I think, the French Revolution. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Can't remember. But it basically means if um, you disagree with the government, they are overthrown. That's White Rebellion. Okay, fair play. So is that what you're intending to do? You're intending to throw throw the world, man? Yeah, uh, sure. Or just get some people to listen to us. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be nice to get some anyone caring about us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we care about you, that's why we've got you on the show. Um, I've got to just say, though, um, I've got a uh, big man Craig, he's in the chat room right now, he's actually listening in a bar in Worthing, and he's just saying he's loving the show, he's loving the track, so that was a big, nice one from him, and there's, there's actually quite that. a few people saying that they're loving it. So well done on that, guys. It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a nice surprise. <laughs> but, <laughs> good now, what I want to talk about, um, I actually want to talk a bit more about sort of like, um, sort of like punk music and the scene that you guys are in, because obviously, being we've got you got you in we want to talk more about it so you know what what made you guys stand up and think out of all the genres of music yeah you know i'm into punk i want to go for this my dad <laughs> <laughs> so no seriously look tell, tell us why then obviously i'll take it your dad was a bit of an inspiration well yeah i used to every time we'd be in the car i'd have a buzzcocks tape on and the um, clash and the clash sex pistols uk subs is a big fan of and you grew up listening to that type of music and you know, that's what influences you. It sticks. Brilliant it stuff. Sticks, and that, how about you, Shane? What was your influences? Well, um, I'm more of an all-genre person. 
Yep. Compared to these two, so it's just I'm maybe scar. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I met Luke at sixth form. I actually, like, he's been to the school for like ages, but didn't actually know him really. And he's, t- and he's 29, and he's yeah, just yeah. left sixth form. Going up to I just came back a few years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, he's he's looking for like a drama, and I was like, yeah, sure, what you play? He's like punk. I was like, yeah, I like that. This should be easy. <laughs> <laughs> just play fast and you're sorted. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So, but, but tell us a bit about your influence. Obviously, you're saying that um, you know you're you're not just into any one genre of music, you know, because um, I've actually had some like heavy rock bands on here that have turned around and said that you know Stevie Wonder and people like that, you know, yeah. you know who the, who are the kind of people that you really look up to and kind of model yourself on? You put me on the spot. Yeah, you definitely put me on the spot. Yeah, but there's so much. There's sort of, yeah, just 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 I'll, roll them off, roll them off. I the really time. like Johnny Cash. Yeah. Yeah, it's big influence. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like jazz is, I really like jazz and the drumming and jazz as well. Like um, Charles Mingus, um, he's a really good saxophonist and um, like um, and just jazz drummers are really, really technically good and that really inspires me to like try and play a bit more technical than it would be if I was to just play normal punk drumming, which is just... <laughs> we've been complimented on that as well. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, the yeah. good thing about Shane's drumming, what makes him the best the best drummer, is because he doesn't just stick to the classic hi-hat and snare drum beats. And that's what we get most complimented on, is definitely drumming. Wicked stuff. Awesome stuff, Shane. Wicked, it, it, I'll say one, one thing I do like is when we do get... Um, sort of like bands in that do a certain genre of music and that they, they don't just they're not just inspired by people from that kind of music scene that, that you know yeah. they get inspiration from everywhere it's a fair play and obviously obviously you're well known for your drumming and you're, you're much loved for it it's a fair play to you I didn't even know that but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are. right let, let's get Freddie in Freddie yeah how we doing man all right I'm good good stuff <laughs> Freddie tell me who are your inspirations and who are the people that inspire you to obviously do the music that you're doing now well basically mostly all the old UK punk and the early hardcore punk bands like the Exploited, GBH and the Two Tone Scar movement. I like that a lot. And there's a few newish bands around, not that many, <laughs> <laughs> but they're getting there. Definitely. There's more and more emerging now. And are you guys kind of like looking to sort of like make it, make it sort of like, you know, whether it be into the charts or are you kind of looking to get out there to be sort of like more recognised and get on that sort of like ladder? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what, what I mean by that is that obviously, you know, you've got like the alternative charts, you've got stuff like that. You know, is that a dream to actually like sort of like be out there, you know, walk into HMV, people can buy you, people can buy your CD and stuff like that? Maybe, maybe not that far. I don't really fancy being on the charts. Like most of the music on, on the charts is... I, I, words can't explain just how awful so it is. Shall I use the word pants? Is that what you're looking yeah, for? Yeah, pants is a good word. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see our name painted on a leather jacket somewhere. Yeah, that would yeah. Be, that's a dream. <laughs> is, but, that, is that the dream? Yeah. <laughs> but as, as long as we sort of inspire people to do something, where, where it could be to start a band or even write a song or, or just do something different in life, so I think that's. I mean, that's, that's enough, isn't it? Yeah, to yeah. just inspire someone, we've at least inspired at least one person, so. That's enough for me. I'm happy with that. Brilliant stuff. So you, you guys ain't you're not in this for the money then, you're just in this for the love of the music that basically you enjoy playing. We've been playing for two years and we haven't made barely any We've money. We've never asked to be paid, have we? We've never asked to be paid, so um, I think as long as we're we're all having fun playing, then we'll carry on. That's it's, that's the most important thing, to be in a band. If you're not having fun in a band then you sh- yeah, you're doing it wrong. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> just stop playing. Is that kind of what drives you? Drives you to do a band? Because obviously, a lot, a lot of bands out there, they are kind of money oriented. Now, I obviously do a bit of promoting. I put band lights on, and I do like ring up bands, and I'd be like, right, do you guys want to play on my showcase? Ninety-nine mm-hmm. percent of them don't want nothing. Obviously, I always offer to play a headline act, but some of them like saying, well, we want two hundred and fifty quid. We want, you know, we want this. We want that. Like, you know, do, is, do you guys think that's wrong then? Oh, no. I wouldn't say wrong, but. If they offer to pay you, yeah, you that's might, all right. You might as well take it. Their money at the end of the day. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, t- too many people focus on the wrong thing, and yeah. it should really just be about having fun playing the music. Not, yeah. not you shouldn't get home and think, oh, we we earn you know fifty quid tonight for playing. You should think well, that we had a good set. People stayed to listen. That's the most important thing. 
Yeah, it'd be a crap gig even if, even if you get paid, can't it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And you might not even have fun if you just, you know, if you just play to like one person. But you get paid. It's, it sort of becomes more of a like a hobby. It turns into more of a job, and you get bored of it. And it's, it's not. No, but lots of jobs, do they? <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem to like jobs, Luke, do you? No. <laughs> uh, so, so which one of you? So, who's going to uni here? Uh, me and Luke. Yeah. So, what what is it you guys are doing at uni, and what are you hoping to become? I'm I'm doing music technology, so anything you can live work or even recording. So, basically anything around that. I'm uh, going to do photography, and well, I don't know. I'm just hoping to get a job that I enjoy in the future. Taking photos of things. Taking photos of flowers. Flowers. <laughs> butterflies. Yeah. I think like a good butterfly. <laughs> pixies, stuff like that. You, know, you <laughs> want to be the first man to find a pixie. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, well, actually goes with the t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, so right then, guys, I'll tell you what, what it is. We're, we're kind of getting to near the end of the show now. Um, so what I'd really like is if uh, you could do us, uh, do us another track. Do you, do you want to yep. do that for us? Let's, let's do it. Brilliant stuff. So whilst, we, whilst these guys are setting up, do not forget that coming up on next week's show, we've got one of Dunstable's young, well, Dunstable and Luton's youngest fans. We've got City Lights. They played for me at the weekend. And they're absolutely brilliant and really inspirational. They've got a 13-year-old drummer, a 14-year-old guitar player, and a 15-year-old bass guitar stroke lead singer. And they're going to be in the studio with us next week. And believe me, these guys might be young, but they are absolutely loads of fun. They stood up on that stage. I won't say what that they said, but they were talking about sort of naughty things and how disgusting that they find it just because they were young. Really good laughs. So make sure whatever you do, tune in for that next week. And for all the people that were tuning in for Mark Joseph, we do apologise, but Mark couldn't join us today. Um, there was a few little hitches and he can make it, but we're hoping to get him in in early October. Anyway, I'm now going to be passing you over to Dunstable's number one punk band. That's right, <laughs> it's the Right of Rebellion. Over to you guys. Okay, so we didn't um, have enough songs that were clean, <laughs> so we thought we'd write a new song specifically <laughs> for the show. So Practice this is twice. this is an exclusive. We, we played it twice. Yeah, it's never. We played it twice in my bedroom, <laughs> um, and it's got the ingenious title of acoustic song. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. So let's really? yeah, let's hear it. Acoustic song, acoustic song. I hate you. You put me on an acoustic, and I don't know what to do. Acoustic song, acoustic song. I hate you. You put me on an acoustic, and I don't know what to do. Got a gig Greyhound. Texts in this show today, absolutely bonkers. Um, 
and actually the screen has just crashed. It has broken down. <laughs> um, but someone did just text in to say that, right, we're telling that you guys are absolutely wicked. They absolutely adore you, and they think that you're one of the best bands around. So uh, well, thank you very much. We appreciate any support or listen. We, you know, we get so it's very much appreciated. Definitely. How does it, how does it actually make you feel knowing that you've got you've had people like listening to the show, uh, listening to you guys, and enjoying and enjoying your music? Um, we don't get a lot of feedback usually. Do we? It's it's nice to get anyone caring. You get the odd person come up at a gig and say it's good, and that always makes you night, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, it does. It does definitely. Brilliant stuff, Shane. How does that make you feel? Because you're kind of like standing there desperate. <laughs> yeah, hang on, you're hang desperate on. to get on the come microphone. Up. Up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's always good to have support of anyone. And but yeah, as Freddie said, when someone comes up after the game and says that was brilliant, really nice stuff. That, that makes my night. <laughs> Definitely. 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 So guys, all I'm going to say is absolutely quality set. Really enjoyed having you guys on. It was, it was great to actually have sort of um, a, different, a different band on. Oh, another text come through. It says, R&R rocks. Get them to do Never Conform With Beeps if you have to. <laughs> and it says, Gweed Ta. Whoever that is. Do you know someone called Gweed? I have Gweed. No idea who that is. No. <laughs> but it's but a fan thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing one of our songs. That means a lot, thank you. Brilliant stuff. Uh, now guys, is there any shout outs or anything that you want to advertise whilst you're here? Um, sort of sort of like any uh, anyone you want to like give a shout out to? Just get yourself to the Greyhound because UK Vomit are playing. That's all I'll say. UK Vomit <laughs> and the Ricochet. The Ricochet and Subset and Hazard are playing. I, we're playing as well, but just don't, you don't have to come for us. <laughs> the rest of the bands are really, really quality bands. Night, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's going to be a really good night. They're bands that we've been friends with over the two years. And yeah. they've helped us out in the past. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Friday night, isn't it? Friday, Friday. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. The thing is, I, I must apologise about that. It was a nightmare. Um, everything did break down. <laughs> I, I, I even got loads of abuse on the chat room, which I've never had before. People hated me. They were like, you didn't play Miami. I even had Texas pop up just a minute ago. Well, like, so, nice. so I didn't check them saying, you didn't play it. Play the song. This is a fix. Who do they think that? Well, that's a... All right. I mean, calm down. <laughs> it's, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> well, they got their tune played twice. We had yeah. it twice. So, yeah. uh, if anything, it's a bit of a Brucey bonus for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you know. So I'm the supermarket sweep with the old beef and all that. But anyway, guys, once again, give yourselves a massive round of applause. That was right in Australia and here in the studio. I'm going gonna, 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 to just say a big, massive thank you to them joining us. Obviously, a big, massive thank you to Natalie Mason from the Luton scene joining us. I've been Darren Jones, aka The Dazzler, taking you through from seven all the way through till nine. I'll be at Gay Bowling this Friday, so if you want to come down and listen to some wicked tunes that Shane wouldn't like, make sure you come join us. Anyway, <laughs> coming up next, I've got to say, we've got the man that all the women want to sleep with and all the men just wish they could be him. That's right, DJ Alphonse is going to be up next with two hours of pure unadulterated rated reggae. Check it out. Oh, my. <laughs> we are uh, Right of Rebellion. I'm Luke. I'm Freddie. And I'm Shane. And, well, okay. We have a gig on the 16th of September at, was it, 8.30? Yeah, 8, 8 o'clock, yeah. 8 o'clock. 8, 8 o'clock. And the 16th is Friday, by the way. Friday. <laughs> Not Saturday. <laughs> and um, UK Vomit, The Ricochet, Subset, <laughs> we can count it. Hazard, yeah. And us. And us, and us. are playing. <laughs> and it should be bad. <laughs> in um, a good way. In, in a, a good way, way. <laughs> a mad good way. <laughs> listen, you can listen to our stuff. Facebook? Facebook. Facebook. We'll, we'll upload some more. We've got another EP coming out when we can be bothered. We'll put the whole EP up as well. Christmas maybe. <laughs> Christmas number one. Christmas number one. I'm feeling that. And um, we'll just put up for free, so just get on Facebook and listen to it. Cool. <laughs>